generations, Hallmark has really put more art into the world than we could ever possibly imagine. They realized very early on the importance of encouraging imagination, and they continue to do so with their interactive kaleidoscope center. And our Maria had the opportunity to visit this center, and it was really quite amazing, wasn't it, Maria? It's spectacular, and there's so much history with it, which I love so much. And I will tell you, I strongly believe that Having kids be creative at such a young age is so vital so for the true. rest of their lives. It so sets them up true. for success. And Kaleidoscope actually started as a passion project for J.C. Hall's son, Donald J. Hall Sr., you can see here. And when he took over the company, he would bring home leftover Hallmark supplies to his kids to encourage their Aww. art, which is which I love so much. And in 19... 69, they began a program that would allow kids to explore their own artistic freedom with recycled Hallmark products. So you can see here, How it's fun. also br a brilliant way to utilize the su leftover oh. supplies that nothing goes to waste here. I love that. And you had the opportunity to explore your own artistic freedom at Kaleidoscope as well, didn't you? Okay, listen, it's usually just for kids, <laughs> but they let me in the door and that I was having kids. so much fun. You can see here, this is Kaleidoscope. I mean, I can't, I, I just seeing the happy faces of these kids walking in and they have complete creative freedom. You can see them running around and there are no rules and there's all Aww. these different stages with you can see there's the black light there so they can kind of have a whole different experience with the markers and the wax there too that that's is, wax that's you could wax? just rip it and kind of be messy and there of course I found my way to the ribbon center because you know I'm a sucker for ribbon and over here wait till you see what this turns out to be you paint it of course with the watercolor and a little hat it's a princess hat, and I love how you scalloped it. I am a princess. So here's the so thing. Cute, Maria. It's just such a spectacular place. It just warmed my heart so much, and I'm so glad that it exists. That place looks like so much fun. I wish there was a kaleidoscope everywhere. And if you are in the Kansas City area, I would highly recommend you visit there. I would like to visit I the next know. time. I know, Alexandra and Grant. Oh my gosh, they, they would, would love, love it. it. Well, in the meantime, you have brought us a really cool DIY here that we can make at home. Our, our kids can even get involved exactly. to have our own kaleidoscope center at home. Exactly. Sort of kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope DIY art station, if you will. So you can see, I started here with this uh, beautiful cart, okay. and I wanted the idea with the cart was that I wanted to literally cart it around everywhere to have the kids play outside or do whatever it is that they want to do with the the artistic freedom so that they I want to give them. Mobile. Mobile. There like you it. go. Okay. okay, so here's our cart here. As you can see, it's white. Okay. I this was originally like a rose gold color, mm -hmm. as you can see, but. I wanted it to really stand out when I put the other fun sort of primary colors in there right. that made it a little bit more kid friendly. Make it and, pop. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I did. I just used a can of spray paint, spray painted it outside, and then that's my blank canvas. Easy there. for easy. Absolutely. Now I see you have a lazy Susan. <laughs> I'm a I sucker for a Lazy Susan. Susan. I, I think mean, everyone loves it. It's lazy so enjoyable. Susans. Look at that. Okay, really so this is where you can kind of get your kids involved too. So they have their sort of stamp, as you can see, the little pieces of artwork in there. So, Deb, okay. I'm putting you to work, my beautiful artist. Oh, okay. So you can see here, I cut a piece of paper that fits in just like these to go in here. So those are just draw whatever jars. you like. These are just jars. Okay. You can get these just about anywhere, truthfully. And you can use what you have at your house too, which is such a good idea because. You get the kids involved, and then their artwork is on display, like you can see right there. These oh. are paint pens. Ooh. This is the coolest thing oh, ever. Well, I just went, to, I was just gonna help you because I got wow. excited about the paint pens. Okay, so what you do with the with the Lazy Susan, you can make your own with wood, and there's a Lazy Susan piece actually in here. So you can see, you, do, you can just drill in it. Okay, so this okay. is what I have here. And you wanna uh, make sure that you can actually Move it around like a lazy Susan. So I'm okay. using some hot glue to secure it in. Oh, so like that, that they don't move when you spin it. Exactly. So nice. I'm gonna pop this on just right here so you can see. And you can pre-place all of these. And Deb, whenever you're I'm done just with making your, a balloon, exactly, you know what? Exactly, but we'll I can take it. your time. I'll put this over here while we set this in our station. Okay. You are not rushed. Don't rush the don't artist. Don't rush my art. Yes, and you can see then it goes right in there, and then they can go pick out whatever and they want. Yes, just like we said, the kids could get involved and help you make this. Exactly, it showcases their artwork. And so um, you can see down here, Deb, this is where the cart itself allows you to have all of the art supplies as well. And what I liked about collecting is that sort of like it was, yeah, perfect. And it was, uh, the thing about Kaleidoscope, it's like, it's organized. 
It's surprisingly right. that it's like, even though it's creative, it's super organized. This is super organized. And that was the goal. It actually teaches them. So you can see here, I love this. This is made with balsa wood is what we have over here. Okay. And all you do is cut the slits and use your exact. And I do some scoring. And this I've balsa wood you can get here. at the craft store. You don't even have to go to the hardware store. Exactly. You don't at all. And as you can see here, you just pop these in like that. And that's what created, you want to pre-measure. And this is what creates our spacing for all of our supplies. This, by the way, if, even if you're not making an, an art center. Yeah. This okay. is is great for sock drawers, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's how my socks actually organized in my house. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I wanted the dry erase board. Okay, so you see, we want them, we want the kids to draw on whatever it is that they can. So this is my little art caddy. So you can see on the back, we have some hooks and some magnets. And so what you want to do, this is actually magnetic. So all the letters on there have magnets on them too. And this goes cute, on the Rayon. front. And I put in some butcher paper, some little notebooks, so anything that's going to write on. So they have stuff on. to write on. But and one of my favorite touches to this whole, this mobile caddy <gasps> is the way that you display their art. This is very exciting. Simple I might be, yet really sweet. I'm a little overly excited about this. These are just dowels that are connected with zip ties and you put just a piece of twine on there and that's it. You can hang your artwork to dry. Look at that. And that is actually Maria's artwork from it Kaleidoscope. Is. I just mean saying. That. That was That's wax. that wax. It's so cool. I love it with the black light, Maria. This was yes. super cute. Oh, it's so much fun. It's Aww. so much fun. I'm going to come over to your Kaleidoscope Center at your home. This yes, afternoon. you're welcome That's to. Okay. <laughs> Grant and I. Yes, and exactly. <laughs> For full instructions, you all can visit HallmarkChannel.com. And if you are in the Kansas City area, you have to check out Kaleidoscope over at Hallmark Crown Center.